Hello everyone, and welcome to Zero Visibility, a horror game where four friends drive through the mountains and aren't able to see anything but snow. Not only that, but something is out there, lurking in the fog, something sinister. So yeah, that being said, let's get started. Guys, it can't be that big of a deal. I'm sure it's cool, but... Yeah. No. It's just a lot of fun. Elaine, you should be ashamed of yourself. It's everything. Your life up to now was empty, and you didn't even realize it. It's just been a long, sad preamble. A long preamble to... Uh, springs? You know it, baby. Hot springs doesn't really describe it well. It's more like a really warm river. Like when... Somebody pees in the water near you, but at all at this time? You're a poet, boy. Aren't things like this better in the summer? Nah. Nothing like soaking in hot water surrounded by snow. Like, people actually do that? I feel like that's how you get sick. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe someone knows. I'll take your word for it. Looks like we're about 40 minutes out. God, will you quit it with map? It's just Chalk Creek Road all the way up. Oh, hey. It looks like we're actually steering. This is actually pretty neat. Chalk Creek Road. Seems to be a little bit of snow right now. Nothing too crazy. Was there snow in the forecast? Nope. I checked this morning. It's the mountains, dude. Anything can happen. Will they still be open? Of course they'll be open. Hot springs don't close for snow. Great, well, drive slow. I couldn't go much faster even if I wanted to. The trash mobile can barely handle these hills. Is that what we're calling this thing? The trash mobile? Seems to be doing okay for now. Uh, hopefully it doesn't turn into like a blizzard though. Otherwise we might have trouble. It looks like we're getting... I can't see shit. The snow is really picking up. This doesn't look good. Maybe, maybe we should go back. We're way closer to the hot springs than we are to home. And we can stay there overnight if we need to. Oh, of course this had to happen today. The one day we were all free. It's fine, Sarah. Just focus on driving. We've got a map. You've all been here before. Okay. But everyone be on the lookout for street signs. Y'all know the Donner Party. Well, we inevitably get around to eating each other. Shut up, Boyd. You're not helping. I'm keeping up morale. Anyways, I vote we Leo first. 
Yeah, I don't think we should uh, be talking like that right now, boy. What the? What was that? By this tree to the left, there was something there. For like a split second. Hold up, Sarah. And there's a street sign. What does it say? I can't read it from here. Me neither. Hold on, I'll pull over. Now we'll just hop out and take a look. 15 seconds tops. I bet we could get a nice marbled steak out of Leo. Shut up, Boyd. Maybe a chili. I vote we kick out Boyd. You should go check the sign. See what we have. What the hell? What kind of absolute psychopath would do that? I don't think you have room to talk about psychopaths, Boyd. Do what? The sign's all scratched out. It's completely illegible. Well, let's think about this logically. We're at a fork. And there's a tunnel ahead. And a branch off to the sign. Leo. Is there anything like this on the map? Are there are like five different forks like this in the area. So, we're lost. We're not lost. We didn't take any turns since we're getting to Chalk Creek. If we keep moving, we should reach Johnson Village any minute now. Can we discuss this in the car? I'm freezing. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's no use talking about outside. I just go, you know. Where things aren't blocked off. Wait, there it is again. Are we... Headed into... Some unknown monsters? What the... Wait. The hell was that? I don't know. The car's chugging. We must be out of gas. Now, we had half a tank like 20 minutes ago. Maybe there's a leak. Fuck. Is that shaking the car or... Is that in our head? Well... What do we do? We'll freeze if we stay here. We have to continue on foot. Grab anything warm you can find and bundle up. Um... Okay, looks like we've gotten... Just the clothes on our backs. Hold up. Are those fire trucks? We can ask them for help. Have a bad feeling. Uh... Especially when that thing appeared. It looks like a landslide. The doors on the trucks are open. I don't think they're still here. And there are footprints in the snow. They look fresh. Yeah. Looks like... Oh, we can move the camera. Looks like they go this way. What? Are those spikes? Or chopped trees. What the hell? Pretty sinister. I've never seen anything like this. Elaine, you're into rocks, right? Not enough to recognize this. Basalt, maybe? But the angles are too perfect. They look man made. I don't like this. I think we should go back the way we came. Yeah, Boyd, if we do that, you'll just end up being Leo. So yeah, 
those are coming from underground. The hell? Sarah? Sarah? Huh? What? And why did you stop? I... I'm fine. Let's keep moving. Why do we just see like an evil Disney world? <laughs> Jesus, this thing is old. Looks like a model train kit. Like a kid got frustrated and tossed it across the room. Yeah. Um. I think I have more things to worry about right now. Wait. There's something here. Besides the pile of spikes? Oh yeah. The pile of rocks. And there's a note on it. Please send help. One of us is injured. And the blizzard is only getting worse. There are fresh footprints in the snow. But we've searched for hours and haven't found a soul. We try to retrace our steps we can't find the way out. We've been waiting for a search party. But this weather? I don't think it's coming. The bridge is damaged. But we think we can fix it. If you find this note, we've gone on ahead. Maybe we'll find a way off this damn mountain. I don't like this. We should go back the way we came. I have a feeling if we listen to Boyd. This doesn't look sturdy at all. It's the only way forward. So it doesn't matter if it's sturdy or not. Why did we put Sora in charge? Shut up, Boyd. You're not helping. No, but actually, does this seem unnecessarily dangerous to anyone else? We're climbing across an old rickety bridge above a spike pit. I think we should go back the way we came. We can try to make it back down the mountain on foot. The last town on the way back is three hours from here by car. You think we'll make it on foot in this blizzard? Uh, as I was saying, before Boyd uh, rudely interrupted me. What the... Sarah... Sarah... What's up with you? Did... Did you all see... Can we all talk about this so we're not two steps away from falling to our death? Boyd's right. We can't stop here. As I was saying, I feel like Boyd is the one who's gonna make everyone go insane. Which means we have to sacrifice him first if it comes down to it. Why are there so many spikes? And where's this red light coming from? Um, we also haven't seen that one thing that keeps appearing in a while. Another note. I don't know how long I've been here. Weeks. Years? Time doesn't have meaning here. The snow never stops. There's no day or night. Fires never stop burning. Footprints never fade. I'm freezing. I have no food. But I'm still alive. I found a note on the other side of the bridge. Whoever wrote it seems to have vanished without a trace. Maybe they went on ahead. Or maybe they were rescued. There's no way back. All the paths are blocked. I want to keep moving forward. I feel like I need to. But it doesn't make any sense. I don't trust the feeling. It's false. I should be waiting for rescue. 
while we were looking for food. Not going up further in the mountain. But I need to reach the peak. I need to understand. Please find me. I'm so alone. What are we doing? We should be going back. Yeah, Boyd. Are you going to listen to every note you come across? Besides... Holy shit. Is that a house? And yeah. Besides, there's a house here. More like a shack. Maybe they have a phone. I'd be surprised if they have a toilet. Shut up, Boyd. Thank God. Finally some luck. What the? What just? Elaine? Fuck, fuck, fuck. What? Wait. Where is she? Did you not see it? Something. Oh my god, oh my god. Everyone slow down. What happened? What the hell's going on? I think... I think I saw... Something... Take a lane. Something? Like what, a bear? I... I don't know. Where did they go? Well... We need to help her. Where... Did they go? Down... Down... Into the snow? The snow's not that deep. How can something go down into the snow? I don't fucking know. I'm just telling you what I saw. Her footsteps just... Stop. Come on. Let's check the house. If there's someone there, maybe they can help. And get away from this loud noise. Hello? Is anyone there? We need a phone. Our friend. Leave. I don't have a phone. Please. We need help. I have a gun. Go. Just go and no one gets hurt. Thank God. He has a gun. Please. Our friend was taken by something. We need... I said leave. Oh. Oh, Lord. You're... You're just a bunch of kids. Please, sir. Something took our friend. We need your help. You have a gun. You could... The gun's empty. He used the last bullet years ago. Listen. Please. Listen to me. I know this is hard to hear. But please. Don't go looking for your friend. Are you fucking nuts? Look. Just listen. That. Thing. That took your friend will only attack if you try to reach the peak. If you don't try to move forward, it'll leave you alone. I'm the proof. Please. I've seen dozens of groups like yours. And they all end up... What the fuck are you talking about? Are we gonna leave Elaine out there? Not even try to find her? No. No, you're right. We need to keep moving. Please. Don't do this. You're just kids. I can't let kids... I don't give a shit what you think. I'm not leaving a friend die because some old, old man in a shack said so. If you want to catch up to them, we need to leave now. You're right. Let's go. How did... Will you not see that? Or like hear anything is what I want to know. A dead end. Let's go back the other way. The graves. How they look. I don't care. Elaine's still out there. We need to get moving. 
Um, moving to where? Oh, there's a ramp up here. I'm guessing that's what he meant. But uh, he's proof. I wonder if he's the one who buried his friends, if they even were his friends. We decided to take the only open route. It leads further up the mountain. We'll keep moving until we find a path to take us back down. At least, that's my plan. The others are behaving. Strangely. Almost like they've given up on rescue. Or even finding our way home. All they talk about is reaching the top of the mountain. Maybe there is something in the air. A hallucinogen or something? Or maybe it's just the hunger and the cold. It might be kitty to be too. They've been seeing a silhouette. Just out of sight in the fog. I haven't gotten a good look at it yet. Anytime I catch a glimpse it disappears. Yeah, that's what's been happening to Sarah. At first I thought it was a mountain lion. But now I'm not convinced. There's intelligence there. Like we're being investigated. Like it's waiting to see what we do. The further we move up the mountain, the closer it gets. Maybe it's just a hallucination. But I'm starting to think moving forward isn't such a good idea. I don't trust the others anymore. I can't help bring myself to split up with that thing out there in the fog. Please find us. I don't want to die up here. Uh, maybe it'd be best if we, like, begged for the guy to at least stay in the shack for a little bit. After seeing that thing and reading these notes. But you know what? What the? Not again. No. Leo. Where did it go? Where the fuck did it go? Boyd. Fuck. Boyd. We... We need to keep moving. What has gotten into you? It's gotta lead in... Now Leo. They could be dead for all we know and... You think I don't care? You think I'm pushing forward because I want to? Why do we stand again by staying here, huh? I... We're sitting ducks. We stand a better chance if we keep moving. We can go back. We can keep moving forward. I really don't fucking care. I'm not gonna wait here for it to take us to. Um... Why did it have to leave Boyd with this? At, like, the last half. Looks like some sort of camp. This is... This is so fucked. You said it, Boyd. Oh, you were more prepared than us. At least we got... Some warmth. Wait. This blood. I can't believe we found it. It's more incredible than I could have imagined. Our measurements were correct. The gravitational fluctuations are much stronger than our initial calculations. Time is warped here beyond any currently understood scientific explanation. Whatever this place is, Seems to have been flowing through space and time. Since or since long before the birth of our sun. What are the chances of it crossing Earth? Trillions to one? So this place there's a logic to it. But we'd I think this was a research crew. I I don't wanna know. Let's just I just keep moving. Holy 
shit. It looks like they were pulled out of their tents. Um, and then dragged down there. They just upset the campsite. But why? Wait. There's more gravestones over here. Um, and another bridge. Emma. I don't feel cold anymore. I don't feel much of anything, really. The bridge still isn't done. I don't know how long I've been here. Ben and Drew are gone. Whatever those things are, took them. They made graves for them. Felt like the right thing to do. I wonder if someone will make a grave for me, too. Adam. Why do the footprints... What the... Oh my god. Are those bodies? Watch your step, Boyd. It's a long way down. Boyd? Boyd, are you okay? At least... He isn't saying anything dumb anymore. Wait, there's a ladder. Why is... there a ladder? Rest in peace, Adam. Everyone deserves a proper burial. Why... What the... Did the guy in the shack do this? What is... And there's even more up here. Wait, what is that? Sarah... I... I don't think we're supposed to be here. What are you talking about? This place... Whoever built it didn't want people to come here. It's so threatening. It feels like a warning. I want to go back. I want to go home. Owen. We can't go back. I know. I know. Yeah, just suck it up, Boyd. You think our friends complained when they were taken? My companions refused to believe. That's why they were taken. They lacked faith. God brought us here. We were chosen. And they didn't live up to the ex expectations. I have never been the religious type. This place is all the proof I need. I don't know what kind of gun lies at the end of this path. But I can't deny its power. I've seen it with my own two eyes. And I'm choosing to believe. I'm guessing it's... One of the researchers we... What the... No. Boyd. No. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Listen. We just have to get to the end of this, right? Whatever these pictures are symbolizing, is there more than one of the monsters? Um. Wait. That's one of the visions Sarah had in the beginning. And it's right here. What the hell is this place? Um... There's no snow either. Wait. What the... Why there's skeletons? The architecture is incredible. 
I've never seen anything like it. Is that screaming? No human built that. Well, there's some sort of being up ahead. The others call it gone. But I don't think that's the right word. It's incredible. Unknowable. And the creature hunting us doesn't want us to reach it. I don't know how, but I can feel it. I'm almost there. We live our life searching for something incredible. Something unique. Something worth dying for. That's what's at the end of this path. Something worth dying for. And if I keep pushing forward, I'll be the first to see it. I know it's worth it. It has to be worth it. Christine Rowe, 1936. This... I don't know why you wrote a year on that one. Or why there's more... Of these skeletons and... A campfire. I killed one of them. One of those monsters following us. They move faster than anything I've ever seen. But they bleed red just like us. There should only be one left now. After I finish the bridge, I'll hunt it down and kill it too. Anything that stands between us and God it needs to be extinguished. So... Christine, I guess, killed one, but what happened to the others? Did they die too? Oh, it's right there. <gasps> Boyd. Elaine and Leo. What have you done to my friends? Alien gibberish. Even more. Alien gibberish. This is for my friends. I avenged you, Elaine and Leo. Boyd, you were still being creepy back then, but I guess I avenged you too. What is... What the hell? Are we entering some, like... Weird chamber? I finally made it. It's... It's incredible. They were right. It was worth it. It was all worth it. Uh... I don't know what that's saying. Get absorbed into the Illuminati thing. I am so confused. What the hell? being absorbed. <laughs> so yeah, that was zero visibility. Uh, don't know what to say about the story, it's kind of weird. I think, so 
So my idea is that Sarah, the one with the glasses at the end, lured a bunch of people before to get to the end, and then sacrificed her friends to, you know, basically see what was on the other side of the mountain. That's my theory, just because of how she acted towards the end. But I don't know. Maybe she just happened to know about the whole weird alien thing from somewhere else. Other than that, though, I really like the, the aesthetic of the game. I've played games that have a similar art design as this, but they've never been 3D. But having it 3D was actually really neat. But yeah, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll leave a link to the game in the description below as always. And leave a comment on what your thoughts of zero visibility were. And if you have any ideas on how the story or ending went. And yeah, take it easy.